everyone so today i am doing my first review on some hair clipper combs and now i don't know whether you've seen these heard of these but the idea is you put your hair in between these combs slide it down clip that bit there and then you use the spirit level on here to make sure that it, the bubbles in the middle and then you cut and that's supposed to make it all straight now I'm gonna do it live on my web on my um, camera so you all get to see the results I have lovingly washed and blow dried my hair ready I haven't done my roots I probably should have done my roots but never mind that's irrelevant um, now I tend to like the layered look so I've looked online on how to do the layered look with the biggest comb and I'm going to try and put a picture in now uh, but I assume with the biggest comb you make sure that the, the curve this curve is the closest towards your head because that is the angle the shape of your head so I think that's it let's go for it hi everyone so today I am doing my first review on some hair clipper combs and now I don't know whether you've seen these heard of these but the idea is you put your hair in between these combs slide it down clip that bit there and then you use the spirit level on here to make sure that it, the bubbles in the middle and then you cut and that's supposed to make it all straight now I'm going to do it live on my web on my um, camera so you all get to see the results I have lovingly washed and blow dried my hair ready I haven't done my roots I probably should have done my roots but never mind that's irrelevant um, now I tend to like the layered look so I've looked online on how to do the layered look with the biggest comb and I'm going to try and put a picture in now Uh, but I assume with the biggest comb you make sure that the, the curve this curve is the closest towards your head because that is the angle the shape of your head so I think that's it let's go for it right so I have uh, been looking at ways on how to do my hair myself obviously I haven't got any helpers to help me with doing this so I have decided I want the layers to be even all the way around my hair so to do this I've tried different ways and I've decided the easiest way to do it on myself is to put a ponytail in right in the middle of my hair so uh, I'm going to keep the hair bobble in because my hair is quite long and then hopefully I can put the comb in and cut that way and that should make level-ish layers throughout my hair so let's have a go I don't really mind if it goes wrong hair's only hair <laughs> right so I am putting the comb in lightly for now pulling it up up a bit more can't really see the bubble much it's kind of in the middle I don't suppose it really matters I put the clip on and let's cut it Thank you. 
bit that has it. <laughs> so that's the hair that I've cut off. And let's take it out to see what damage I've done. So far looks okay. Let's take the ponytail out. Hair everywhere. <laughs> Well, my layers look all right to me and it looks how I was hoping it would turn out. Obviously it would look better if I'd got um, hair straighteners and you could see it better that way. A bit of wax would help bring the layers out a bit so you could see it but um, fabulous. How long did that take me? All of about three or four minutes to cut all my hair the same length so yeah if you can do it go for it and I will try and put a, a video on in the future of one where it does the straight because you can do the straight one as well so I'm definitely going to be keeping hold of this comb <laughs> so just as I was finishing it suddenly dawned on me that I hadn't checked to see whether my hair was level um, I'm not going to do it all throughout my hair because obviously that's time consuming and boring for you lot at home. So I've just tied my hair up so that you can see the side bits. And I'm going to do the thing where you run your fingers down. And as you can see, yep, yeah, it's pretty much level. some pieces back from around the back yeah so definitely very very pleased with that hi so I realized after shooting my last video that I didn't in fact have shorter pieces in my hair than I do in other parts of my hair as you can see so I am now going to show you how to correct that Obviously silly me didn't think that having a ponytail there that I'd have shorter bits here and longer bits at the front. So what I have done is I have sectioned off the back bit because I am happy with that. And now I'm going to sort this bit out. So rather than using the ponytail method that I did before, I am going to brush it all to the front and hang my head upside down. If you can see this, make sure it's all brushed before I use the comb. And I'm going to place the comb in the middle of my head, like so. Hopefully, that is level. I'm going to drag the comb downwards so I keep looking downwards until. I get the shorter bit so that it is on the edge and while squeezing it slightly I'm going to hold it up so you can all see that I'm still squeezing it I am now going to get the clippers if I can find them and run that Across there, across the edge, pulling it out to let go. I know, presto, I now do have the shorter bits the same length as the short bits at the back. Take the other bottle out. There you go, that is now much better now that I've realised my boo-boo and I've sorted my error out. Got a couple of kinks in it from the comb now, but you can see more now 
how I have layers in the front and the side. So I hope that sorts out any issues that I originally had. Thank you again for watching. <laughs>